in a specialized unit the specialized means it means uh, all total, uh, total facilities available in there okay uh, like uh, the bed uh, comfortable bed and uh, oxygen and uh, different types of equipments and all total facilities uh, and also as well as uh, uh, different types of comfort measure physically uh, psychologically and uh, all total types of counseling also we are providing okay care uh, optimum level of care we provide to the patient and uh, uh, all total equipment medications and uh, all total of uh, different types of devices available near the patient so uh, today my topic is uh, the ethical and legal issues in the icu okay then critical care has come to the uh, come to be associated with the high tech ag aggressive and often uh, risk filled medical care the critical care nurses are often confronted with the ethical and legal dilemmas related to various ethical principles okay then uh, different terminology in a ethical Mm, uh, the first is the ethics all you know that in the nursing foundation subject uh, when starting nursing the ethics what is ethics and what are the moral principles you all know only it is a review okay moral principles that governs persons behavior or the conducting of a of an activity then next is nursing ethics
Mom, can't he hear anything, ma'am. Madam, you are not audible. Lakshmi, madam, you are not audible.
Hello students. Hello. Yes, madam. Ma'am, uh, actually it is audible. Yes, ma'am, it's audible. Uh, visible? Yeah. Okay, okay. Do uh, all total previous slide go for ever? I do for the name, Tina. These slides are your. Uh, the teaching uh, points ethical which slide uh, the, is not audible hello hello students it is starting yes. starting yes, 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 audible. okay uh, ma'am ethical ka baat se hum log koi screen dekh nahi paaye ah uh, ethics ethics ke baad yes ma'am Okay, okay, okay. Uh, next slide. Ethicalisis you had ethical first is ethical issue. Okay, some of the terminology in the ethical issue uh, first is ethical issues a problem or a situation that requires uh, a person or the organization to choose between the alternatives that must be evaluated as a right or a wrong. It is if it is right, it is ethically right, ethical, and if it is uh, wrong, then unethical. Okay. Then uh, legal issues. Okay. Legal issues or uh, issues of law is a legal question which requires a court's decision. Okay. It can also refer to a point on which the evidence is. Uh, on this disputed or the outcome of which depends on the course interpretation of the law it is all you know that then next is ethical principles okay one by one ethical principles first is autonomy okay autonomic choices and the autonomous action of an individual then beneficency beneficency it is also one of the principles in the nursing practice take positive action to help others okay help others in the sense the clients or relatives or their uh, families in the group supporting groups we help when necessary or uh, whatever they ask regarding their condition or regarding uh, any type of counseling we take the positive action to help others and follow through the through on the desire to, to do good next is uh, uh, non maleficency non maleficency means uh, avoid causing suffering or any type of injury to the patient knowingly we are not any um, provide any type of suffering to the patient any delay in the in their care or a practice avoiding the causing suffering or the injury to the patient next is next principle justice you all know that uh, justice means uh, equally treated, equally treated all the patient fairly treated. All clients must be treated as a fairly and equally. No one is great or no one is low. Okay. Then uh, vor um, veracity. Veracity means uh, honesty and full disclosure to the uh, patient abstain from mis uh, misrepresentation and a report. Uh, known lapse, known lapses of the standards of care, 
to the proper agencies. That means voracity. Okay. Then the next is fidelity. You all know that these principles uh, in the in your advanced nursing practice and in the uh, different types of uh, nursing foundation, nursing foundation topic. Okay, these are the always applicable in the nursing practice. Fidelity means it includes the dedication, loyalty, truthfulness, advocacy, and a fairness to the patient. Then next is the legal ethical issues in the critical care nursing. Okay, legal and ethical issues in the uh, critical care nursing. First legal ethical principle is the critical care nursing informed consent. Any type of procedure we will uh, conduct or we will do, then we first inform the patient and take the consent. Okay, any type of procedure uh, that must be we are informed properly to the patient. Then values in the critical care unit, all total values we provide to the critical care unit and a medical legal cases, MLCU and a medical documentation okay any type of medical documentation use of the restraints decision regarding the life supporting treatment these are one by one we are see what is that informed consent it implies to permission by the patient to perform any act on his body either for a diagnosis or a therapeutic procedure the informed consent is based on the principles of autonomy individuals autonomy okay it depends upon the individual choice or your autonomy if any things we will do it implies the permission if it implies to permission by the patient to perform an action or an act on his body either for a diagnosis or a therapeutic procedure or therapeutic means therapeutic procedure means what is that Hello, students. Hello, students. Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. It is audible. Yes, ma'am. It's audible. Huh. Uh, I ask one thing. What is therapeutic? Therapeutic means? Therapeutic uh, is the treatment uh, the procedure which is beneficial to the patient ah, it is a therapeutic means treatment modality any type of treatment therapeutic procedure or a treatment modality uh, it is a, or it is either diagnosis or any type of uh, action uh, to his body okay these are the different types of we are taking permission to the patient by his performance of action we first take their permission, then after we did the work. The informed consent is based on the principles of autonomy. Okay. Then uh, three elements of the consent, voluntariness, then in uh, information and a uh, decisional capacity. Okay, voluntarily, voluntariness and uh, information, different types of information they require uh, to take consent and uh, decisional capacity if the patient is having decisional capacity then uh, he or she takes the decision if patient is unconscious then there are family members who will take the decision okay then uh, next is uh, that should be given by the by a person then uh, sound mind this is uh, the additional capacity the must be uh, should be given by a person the person having a sound mind conscious okay their system all systems are properly functioning if the nervous system is not properly function patient is unconscious or a semi-conscious they don't take the decision so patient should be given the function he or he must be a sound mind then next is uh, above the age of 18 years if the patient uh, having infant or ch children uh, so they not take the concern uh, give the consent so at that uh, time the parents uh, will give the uh, consent okay 
in uh, the a, a above the age of 18 years then only they give the consent then next is free from the pain and depression any type of pain or a depression patient not give properly consent okay consideration points under the consent then uh, next is must be given uh, uh, voluntarily must be given voluntarily that must be if the patient is not mentally capable it should be obtained from the surrogate or the legal nest of kid okay then request uh, the disclosure of the basic information necessary for the decision making then next is uh, valuable uh, in critical care unit second one is a valuable in critical care unit because they immediately hand, hand handing handing over the values means uh, any persons of gold or a jewelry or a cash okay to responsible uh, responsible relative immediately we are handing over the valuable things any type of valuable things wearing uh, to the patient or a uh, keeping patient that must be if uh, gold wearing so it is uh, most probably we will give the uh, close uh, own relatives okay to responsible relatives so gold jewelry cash and a list, listing listing of the articles in a duplicate signed by the person receiving and a, the witness okay then the articles with the list are kept in a safe custody until it is handed over the nest of kin or the patient himself when he becomes well okay then uh, medical legal cases all you know that what is medical legal cases you are see in the hospital what medical legal cases what is that mlc mlc always written in the uh, um, front side of the bed uh, chart mlc cases you know na hello hello student. yes ma'am ha what is mlc yes, what is mlc a medical legal case means uh, here police file is necessary ha uh, any type of murder case or any type of mass accident accident road traffic accident these are all medical legal cases we are handling it is very confidently and um, the files are very most important okay a medical legal cases is any case where the discipline of the medicine comes to help the legal fraternity in its uh, discharge of the duties a healthcare professional have to be very conscious okay uh, very conscious uh, uh, in uh, dealing with the medical legal cases because the discharge is very important when a patient is discharged if the patient is dead then we are inform the doctor uh, inform the police then after we give the discharge okay then uh, mlc cases like uh, all cases of the injury injuries born born if it is uh, more than uh, uh, 70 60 or any type of uh, seriousness in the bomb cases and uh, assault cases okay then uh, poisoning or uh, intoxication cases referred from the court criminal abortion and uh, unconscious patient comatose patient okay uh it is not naturally is not unconscious or a comatose where the cause is not natural and a brought dead uh, sudden unexpected death and attempted suicide these are all including the uh, mlc cases if any type of injuries okay or a born more than 30 means uh, born more than 30 is a, what is that mild or moderate or severe ha huh? you know na born case already discussed more than 9 uh, more than 70 60 these are the severe born okay then the the born sir born cases uh, 
uh, if the bone case uh, having a severe condition, the uh, if the patient intentionally or the family members or anyone intentionally bone the patient, okay, assault also some of the condition um, from fighting each other and a poisoning take intentionally self poisoning or any type of other poisoning the patients come in the hospital it is also included in the mlc cases intoxication then cases report from the court any type of court cases criminal abortion it is also one of the mlc cases unconscious patient coma stage patient who has the cause is unknown or unnatural and brought dead patient uh, admitted uh, uh, in the patient come from the house uh, uh, if the patient is admitted or dead then it is also um, mlc case and a sudden unexpected death and attempted suicide these are all including in the mlc cases okay then the uh, importance uh, impo important consideration in mlc that is a notification or to policy okay any type of importance uh, mainly consideration in mlc notification to the police and a collection and the preservation of the samples any type of sample collected from the patient or the patient at night then we collected a collection and the preservation of the samples and a recording of the uh, recording of dying uh, declaration okay then the next point is medical documentation okay medical documentation that include the proper medical documentation is legal necessity a good record should be 5c okay if the record is good uh, then 5c we are always follow because c is a very very important c correctness any written record that must be correct information then clearly written okay that must be clear other another c clear comprehensive all total things will be included content that must be comprehensively understood and chronological okay it is a chronologically arranged and the content yeah, sorry, okay. okay okay what what is contemplation near these are the five c's we follow the in our medical documentation okay then legal documentation medical legal documentation first is legal documentation legal documentation means uh, specialist uh, consultation referral slip uh, nurses record treatment record ppr chart um, different types of uh, charts intake charts input output chart okay then operative notes anesthesia uh, notes and the progressive report this the summary follow notes these are the legal documentation and medical legal documentation means uh, death certificate medical medi medical legal reports and uh, medical uh, legal investigation report these are the medical legal documents then the document uh, uh, once uh, prepared has to be preserved for the specified report uh, specified period of time 3 years from the date of the commencement of treatment okay the document once uh, prepared then it must be kept in a 3 years for the date of the commencement of treatment if any uh, request is made for the medical records either by patient or a legal authorities the document shall be issued within the period of 72 hours okay then next is restaurants different uh, types of restaurant provided to the patient that is restaurants are intervention that limits a person's freedom to move okay person's freedom to move in restaurants restaurants Physical restraints can be lead to skin trauma, muscular atrophy, nosocomial infection, limb injury. These are the physical restraints. Restraints consent 
to be taken before application. It is understandable. Then next is decision regarding the life sustaining treatment. Okay, life sustaining treatment. First is indication. What are the indications? When dissociative measures are uh, fertile, means uh, if the patient is dissociative, uh, if the the um, after uh, um, uh, serious condition, okay, when the patient is uh, going to die, at that time we will uh, dissociate the chest and heart, okay, at that time the patient decision will be taken if the uh, the treatment life sustaining treatment is uh, continuous or not when the patient had uh, wanted a dnr okay by advanced advanced directives uh, advanced direct uh, directives okay written verbal or the surrogate decision not to sustain then when the patient had wanted directives okay written or a verbal any type of written or uh, directives or a, by any type of verbal uh, instruction patient given at that time the directives advanced directives will be recorded or uh, will be decided decided not to sustain then next is cpr decision it includes cpr cpr all you know that cardiopulmonary resuscitation Okay, cardiopulmonary resuscitation decisions. Uh, if the patient is 95 or 100 years, at that time, the patient not willing to take the CPR. CPR. If uh, she or he will process the CPR, at, the, uh, at that time, the ribs are also sometimes fractured and uh, so many complications arise. So, a CPR decision also taking uh, by the persons with holding, with holding or the withdrawing of the treatment. Okay, the um, ventilator or any life supporting device included in the patient. The patient condition is very severely ill and uh, more than uh, 95 years at that time, the patient is uh, with uh, holding or without holding of the treatment, she or he take the decision. Then, uh, first is cardiopulmonary resuscitation decision. CPR uh, suggestions, okay, CPR should, she is, if the physician determines the efforts to uh, to be fertile or the hopelessness, duration 30 minutes for adult or children and 15 minutes for a newborn, okay. The, uh, the um, CPR procedure also um, pictureized in the slide. Then the next is second point is do not resuscitate DNR. Do not resuscitate order. Okay. DNR. It is also one of the uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation decisions. Then uh, written instruction from a physician telling healthcare providers do not not to perform CPR. It is also taken by the patients. Okay, in advance lay. Do not DNR. DNR means do not resuscitate the uh, patients. Then uh, withholding or the withdrawing of the life supporting. Okay, withholding, withholding withdrawing okay time time and duration is highly essential with holding and a withdrawing of the any life supportive device like ventilator etc then first indication withholding or a withdrawing of the life supportive uh, supports or anything that is patient having uh, patient having gcs glasgow coma scale okay patient having glasgow coma scale less than five means the patient is very very deteriorate okay what is the normal gcs 
inexperienced staff mix of and uh, if the, they are more expert more experience any completion arrives at the, at the time they are observed and immediately identify okay early identification then uh, only it will look curable so uh, experience and non experience both are mixed in each shift then only it must be provided by the standard of care uh, if newly uh, newly joined uh, staff nurses uh, or the nursing officer they are uh, only night shift and uh, the morning shift and evening shift senior most persons uh, having duty so at uh, any type of complication arise they are not identified so um, most probably uh, if the standard care provided then uh, only mix of the staff will be available that must be important um, then thereafter the standard of the care need not need not be compromised then uh, dnr uh, withholding uh, and uh, withdrawing the life uh, support orders medical orders for the not resuscitating withholding or a withdrawing life supporting should be written written down in the patient's record by an author, authorized physician working in the unit that must be seen and uh, um, and properly work the staff then uh, witnessing okay when the nurse is asked to to be witnessing uh, she should be be prepared uh, to answer any questions uh, to decide the standard and to define the nursing and the nursing the nurses nurses role have believe on the self and explain the reasons for action each and every action they must be explained clearly why it will be, it will be done and why not done okay and limit the answer to yes or or no yes no or i don't know uh, i don't know no or i don't know recall then avoid the bag or a um, blanket of statement okay this is all about the ethical issues in ethical and legal issues in a, in the icu okay next slide we will projecting for a one day Quality as well. Yes, sir. Uh, it is visible. Hello, student. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, okay, okay. Okay. First is quality assurance. Okay. Quality assurance in the critical care unit. You all know that quality, what is quality, how we assert that. Okay. Introduction to the quality assurance. Quality is a rapidly becoming concern to both the consumers and the provider. Okay. And the provider in healthcare quality is being demanded and expected and providers are judged by the quality of quality of services we all know that the icu or ccu is a place where the quality of care is highly essential because the patients are uh, really very life threatening condition and they need all type of quality of care okay uh, quality is uh, maintained by standard if the standard personnel and the standard of care standard of 
different types of therapeutic procedure will um, uh, carried out in the ICU. If it will not happening, then it uh, automatically the patient's life they are damaged. Okay. Then meaning of the quality. Okay, quality is doing the right things, right the right the right uh, first time and doing it better in the next time. Okay, quality is the doing the right thing. Okay, right things, right person, right place. They are adjusted. If the resource person is not there, if the physician is not competent, if the nursing personnel is not competent, then they are not identified their problems. They not provided sufficient care. So quality is doing the right things. Okay, right thing, right uh, the first time and doing it better than next time. Then uh, definition of the quality. Okay, definition of the quality. It is the degree to which health services for the individuals and the populations increase the life likelihood of the desired health outcomes and uh, consistent with the current professional knowledge okay recently they are trained recent skills also know the in advances of the healthcare modalities they are well know, known and they apply the current things okay it is the degree to which the health services for the individual and the population increase the likelihood uh, of the desired health outcomes. Okay, what we desire, it must be good, excellent. Okay, then um, that are the consistent. Okay, consistently they are do, and uh, as well as uh, with the current professional knowledge. Okay, currently they are trained innovatively. They did their things, and a joint commission on accreditation of the healthcare organization 2002 it will be done by the definition comes from the joint commission on accreditation of the healthcare organization then the concept uh, concept of the quality assurance quality assurance includes all activities related to maintaining establishing and assuring the high quality of care of the uh, for the patient okay First is establishing. If we will establish uh, high quality care, then it should be maintained. It should be constantly monitoring and maintaining. Lastly, we are assuring that high quality care for the patient. Then uh, it is a process of establishing a target degree of the excellency. Okay, it is a process of establishing a target degree of the excellency every work that should be well knowing innovative way and establish the excellency it is a dynamic process when it is necessary it must be changed for the betterment of the patients okay it is a dynamic it is a uh, changeable also according to their needs then next is uh, definition of the quality Assurance. Quality assurance means delivery of the efficient and effective medical care in accordance with the professional standard. According to professional standard, according to their quality assurance means uh, the delivery of the efficient, effective. Okay, efficient, efficiently one must be efficient in the their care. One, one must be confident in their care, in providing the care. Uh, she or he know the every skill in the uh, every procedure of the nursing nursing field. So she or he must be provided efficient care or effective. That must be effective. If the uh, example back care, back care if provided best care, if the chairs of the back care know very well, then only they provide eff efficiently and uh, that must be effective to the patient okay medical care in accordance with the professional standard professional standard must be maintained not the below standard okay then uh, goals of the quality assurance quality assurance to ensure the delivery of the quality client care and to demonstrate the 
efforts of the health uh, health provider to provide the best possible results then uh, definition of the quality assurance in the nursing okay quality assurance is the defin uh, defining of the nursing practice through well written nursing standards and the uses of uh, use of the those standards as a basis for the evolution uh, evolution on improvement of the client's care okay the quality assurance is the defining nursing practice through well written nursing standard well written nursing standard and that must be used the use of those standards as a basis on the evolution on improvement of the client care it is uh, given by marco in 1998 then purpose is of the quality assurance purpose is to set the standards for the care to help patient by improving the quality of care to assess the competency of medical staff to bring to notice of hospital administration the deficiency and in the uh, correcting the causative factors okay these are the purposes of quality assurance then importance what are the importance to provide excellent excellent patient care uh, which will save the life promote recovery and prevent complications and meet the patients meet uh, meet patients need and expectation what they are needed what their expectation in the icu or a critical care unit they must be maintained or the, they must be met and minimize the waste of the resources and they reduce the cost okay if the minimize the waste then the uh, uh, waste of the resources and uh, reduce the cost and meet the increasing demand for the effective care okay meet the increasing demand for the effective care these are all the importance of the um, quality assurance then principles of the quality assurance there are four principles focus on the client focus on the system and the process focus on the measurement focus on the team work okay if we will focus on the our principle is how to get the uh, high standard excellent standard care to the client focus on the client client is the main portion uh, we are focusing on the client focus on the system our institution our uh, hospital whole system and the process monitoring process and focus on the measurement if the patient is excellent in their care if the reduction of the um, um, pain and depression or any type of uh, problem he or she come at that time if the um, quality as quality care we will provide then the mainly the outcome is good and a very good or a excellent we focus on the measurement evaluation and focus on the team whole total team depends not only doctors or not only nursing personnel whole total hospital team responsible for the quality assurance work okay then focus on the client gathering the information about the client's health condition uh, designed and priorities uh, the nursing intervention to meet the needs assess the improvement of the health status as an ongoing capacity activity okay these are the focus on the clients how we will treat the patient is really get the every um, support and the treatment then focus on the process process and system quality management reviews all work in the form of the process and the systems process are the series of the action that in order to achieve a result then systems are arrange, arrangement arrangement of the organization people's materials and the procedures that uh, together are associated with a particular function or a outcome okay then a system model for the quality assurance basic components of the system are what is the basic components really input process output feedback okay what we will be give input process then output 
feedback. Okay, the model is like that. It is a quality assurance model. Quality assurance model, a system model, a system model for the quality assurance input. Input means any type of resources needed to the fund need to conduct uh, critical care nursing. Okay, resources, it, uh, equipment uh, and the different types of um, resource portion and uh, treatment modalities, uh, any type of intervention. Okay, these are all conduct in the critical care process. Okay, critical care process that is a resources, uh, uh, recourses, recourses needed to conduct the critical care process. Then uh, second one is a process, a series of interventions carried out to transform transform the input into the output. Then output outcomes, patients outcomes. When uh, we apply in the nursing process in the patients at that, at that time, uh, we will know that the patient uh, outcome is good, then the total intervention is uh, uh, correctly performed. Okay, then outcomes are the uh, resulting from the input and the process of the nursing intervention. Then if it is anything uh, inadequate, then we feedback provided and again it will be started input. Okay, input. Then again, input is uh, anything added, uh, the lacuna, uh, inadequate things. Then uh, again, it is, it is a process and the output is very good. Okay. This is all about the a system of the model for the quality assurance. Then focus on the measurement. Measurement in quality assurance data are used to analyze the process, identify the problem test solutions and measure the performance. Data are important because they are ensure objectivity. And especially measurement and the data are used in the quality assurance too. Then identify the opportunities for the improvement of the quality assurance efforts and detect and assess the problems in the care of the critically care patients. Then next is to continue Very, uh, verify the possible possible causes of the problems and uh, that were measured and uh, monitor the process over the period of period to see if the changes or the improvement is maintained. Then uh, focus on the team. Okay. Uh, always depend the all total focus on the team. A team is a high performance task group whose members are interdependent and they share the Share a common performance and objectivity. Performance objectivity. Okay. Then uh, process of the quality assurance. There are three steps are used for improvement of the quality assurance in the CCU. Identify the identify quality indicators, develop standards, and a develop plan. Okay. Three indicators in the ICU or CCU. The quality assurance uh, indicator. What are the indicator process? Identify the quality indicator. What are the quality indicator? Identification, develop the standard, and develop the plan. Okay. Then identify the quality indicators. What is the quality indicators? It means what needs to be improved. It can be done in two ways. By asking the clients about their expectation, by asking the care provider about their care they provided okay these are the two things we can uh, we can be done in the two ways example a client uh, client is uh, discharged from the CCU and uh, he said he he was very much uh, disturbed with the noise and a light in the unit and he hardly slept you now while in the CCU an example a patient get bed sore in ICU or CCU, it indicates that nurses are not given carefully look out to prevent the bed sore. These are the two examples by asking the clients about their expectation, by asking the care provider about their care they provided. Okay.
then develop a standards okay second one is develop a standard standard means something set up and established by the authority as a rule for the uh, for measurement of uh, quality once the indicators are identified the standards standards uh, standards are developed then uh, in icu nursing in uh, in charge and uh, nurses together develop standard according to priority and uh, resources available it reviews periodically and it can be changed according to the need of the patient develop standards how to develop standards standard means something set up something set up and established uh, established by the authority as a rules for the measurement of the quality then uh, once the indicators are identified the, the standards then uh, they are developed and in icu issue in charge nursing in charge or the nursing uh, nurses uh, together and develop standard according to priority and the resources available it is um, it review the periodically and uh, it is uh, 15 days or a uh, monthly or a, um, uh, six monthly it is a review if it is uh, any type of standard below then it it will be developed uh, how to it uplift and uh, it can be uh, changes the um, uh, plan and it can be changed according to the need of the patient okay then uh, example pressure sore or and noise standard one all clients will receive adequate care to prevent the bed sore or a pressure sore standard two all clients in icu will experience adequate rest and sleep free from the noise in order to meet the standard peer review and the nursing audit plays a vital role okay then peer review what is peer peer means what is that hello students hello yes sir what is peer peer means a similar group you are a one of the group you are among you are discussion then you are a peer group okay class classmates one of the peer group peer review okay nursing clients nursing uh, personnel uh, they are discussion and they develop the one of the plan they are a peer review peer review is the evaluation of the performance by the other pupils in the same field in order to maintain the maintain or enhance the quality of the work or the performance in the in that field okay then nursing audit all you know that what is nursing audit huh anyone from the group <laughs> audit from to check uh, all those things means quality indicator uh jo quality indicator mein hota hai na jo wo tik tak chal raha hai aur nursing care plan tik tak ho raha hai nahi patient kya tik tak ho raha hai nahi uh means uh, auditor auditor is there or uh, nursing in charge or nursing supervisor is there very good very good one of the external auditor and one of the one of the Inter, uh, internal auditor internal auditor is the uh, either supervisor or in charge or external auditor is there uh, will uh, means will the identify or who is finding all those things papers is uh, there means uh, all quality indicators is available or not yes yes very good nursing audit nursing audit refers to the assessment of the quality in the clinical nurse okay nursing audit is a, a is an exercise to find out the whether the good nursing practice are followed or not okay that is uh, audit nursing audit divided into internal external already we have been discussed audit two types and uh, nursing audit process involves the planning preparation of the tool and data collection taking action and the documentation okay nursing audit total process involving three uh, components one is planning Second one, uh, second one is the preparation of the tool. Tool means what is that? Tool T O O L. Tool. 
Tool means row wise, ma'am. All those data means patient uh, file. All documentation is uh, tool. मतलब uh, properly documented है और नहीं वो check करना है. मतलब पेशेंट डेटा डेटा कलेक्शन करने के बाद जो प्लानिंग होता है प्लानिंग हुआ है नहीं और प्लानिंग रिवॉल्यूशन हुआ है और नहीं यही यही टूल बोलते हैं ओके टूल मींस क्वेश्चनरी और चेकलिस्ट सम ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट हां यस मैम आई आस्क रिगार्डिंग द दैट टूल वी विल गिव टू द पेशेंट एंड वी विल इंटरव्यू And data collection. If uh, the patient is satisfied 80% that tool, and they are satisfied, then it is a very good. If it is not satisfied below 30 or uh, anything else, so it is a below standard. Okay, that tool means some of the questionnaire. How you will feel better? What you expected in the word? और नर्सेस आर प्रोवाइड प्रॉपर्ली मॉर्निंग क्या और इवनिंग क्या दिस टाइप ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चंस प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द टूल्स एंड आफ्टर द टूल प्रिपरेशन वी विल गिव दैट टूल इन द अप्लाई इन द पेशेंट्स पेशेंट्स एंड वी विल डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन डाटा कलेक्टेड ओके डाटा कलेक्टेड देन आफ्टर वी डाटा एनालाइज एनालाइज एंड इवैल्यूएट इफ दे आर बेटर और गुड Or a very good, excellent, anywhere. Okay, different category, categorize, and uh, taking action according to we will take action and document the patients. Then planning. Planning says stating the objectives. What are the objectives of the care or uh, anything we will do? First, we uh, provide if any lesson plan or any topic we will provide uh, at that time class also we will discuss that. What is the objective? What is the main motto to uh, um, uh, this class? Okay. What is the stating the objectives of the class or content and uh, deciding on the structure, process, and the outcome. Okay. Structure, process, and outcome and deciding uh, the audit criteria. Audit criteria also we are deciding and deciding the tool and the techniques. What technique we will use? okay interval technique questionnaire technique or uh, any type of uh, uh, we are uh, survey technique what type of techniques we are uh, using and uh, deciding the samples who is the sample um, uh, medical surgical clients have the sample or the uh, any type of uh, um, orthopedic uh, clients are sample what what samples hum uh, log jisko lete hain वो सैंपल है डिसाइडिंग द सैंपल एंड इट्स साइज ओके 30 40 60 120 mm. what may be okay it is deciding the sample and the size its size then uh, preparation of the tool and uh, the method of for data collection okay this is involves preparation of the criteria for the audit and checklist for the care given and the audit sample should be representing the population covered by the standard then minimum of 20 sample are used for an audit okay minimum 20 samples are used in the audit purpose then sample sample nursing audit checklist one of the example in the checklist audit criteria use six steps while giving the back messages yes or no if yes then it is a right then uh, second one is a second segment turned position every 2 hours okay yes then um, patient on the alphabet or the um, alphabet or the air mattress yes then use clean and dry bed yes keep the bed without uh, wrinkle yes then bed so risk assessment carried out twice a day yes okay these are the audit criteria if it is yes then it must be maintained the well okay now if it is no 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 then automatically below standard objective to audit the steps and the process of the care used in the preventing the bed sore first is place icu ccu 
and a sample 10 samples uh, CCU nurses and a tool checklist. Okay, it is applicable checklist. Yes or no? Then um, next is uh, VAP, ventilator associated pneumonia bundle. You know na VAP, ventilator associated VAP bundle, pneumonia. Then uh, it is one type of checklist, hand hygiene performed or not performed. Uh, okay, then uh, head end of the patient to be raised more than equal to 30 or perform or not perform. Stress ulcer and DVT prophylaxis perform or not perform. Then a sedation, vacation, sedation, vacation, um, sedation, sedation, vacation and early extubation. These are perform or not perform. And mouth care, aseptic solutions. It is perform or not perform. It is also ventilator associated bundle okay it is checklist we are checking the row ventilator patients then next on the cotti bundle okay catheter associated unit tract infection bundle okay c a u t i bundle means cotti bundle cotti bundle catheter associated unit tract infection bundle okay it is also one of the checklist and hygiene perform or not perform proper sequel of the catheter perform or not perform urine bag should be uh, should be below the bladder level is it perform or not perform aseptic uh, perineal perineal or uh, um, perineal dressing okay it is perform or not perform then uh, follow the a closed bladder drainage system perform or not perform and make sure they, there um, there no thinking okay these are the all type of examples for the corti bundles taking action ma'am every shift every shift catheter care uh -huh. catheter care catheter every every catheter care Catheter associated urinary tract infection. Catheter जो हम लोग दिए हैं ना patient को, patient को catheter देने के बाद तो if it is hand hygiene we will do or not. Okay. One one minute. हाँ स्मिता मर class हो चुकी D C C N छोटा पसंद है चालीस बार छोटा. ओके बच्चों ये जो कैथेडर जब भी हम लोग देते हैं प्रोसीजर कैथेडर प्रोसीजर करते हैं एट दैट टाइम इफ विल हैंड वाशिंग इज प्रॉपर्ली डन और नॉट इफ द कैथेडर विल इंट्रोड्यूस आसेप्टिक मेजर और नॉट डन ये सब एक एक चेकलिस्ट है उसके हम लोग आसेस करते हैं ओके Hello. Taking action. Hello. Hello. Hello yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is a phase including the analyze and summarize the collected data, noted the findings, compliance, and a non compliance. Draw the conclusion. Prepare the nursing report for the review and the discussion. Okay. Yes, so we will see the question. We will see the question. Any one procedure. Okay. If uh, ventilator associated pneumonia, or uh, if uh, patient is having a corti bundle, or uh, if patient is having a, um, a different types of uh, bed sore, any one will assess. 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 We will see the question. And analyze and summarize the collected data and note the findings, compliance, and non compliance, draw the conclusion, and prepare the nursing report for the review of the discussion. Okay, then uh, analyze the possible causes. What are the causes? Why, which person is lacuna? 
if the purple is not hand washing or patient having not correctly positioning or how it will be developed okay what are the possible causes that develop the bed sore okay uh, take the corrective action if it will be corrected then it will be not happen the bed sore then remedial action should be taken for the correcting and the auditing should be done after a period of time to see the change in healing okay then uh, develop the plan in this step the plan plan are develop on the basis of the model 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 quality assurance model uh, structure process outcome develop the structure uh, it includes back back care material are required uh, at the bedside for the back care or uh, bed sore risk scale and um, air, air mattress and water bed and adequate number of the staff okay it includes the develop the first input is the structure if the bed sore develop hum bed sore ke liye karte hai to bed sore jyada se jyada patient that hospital must be bed sore ho ho raha hai isliye hum log kaise usko quality assurance structure banayenge isliye back care material are required uh, at the bedside for the back care and bed, bed sore risk scale also available that also required and air mattress or a water bed and adequate number of the staff okay if staff is not available if the 150 patient um, three or four staff present so how it can be possible okay also uh, workload also reduce of the staff then develop the process develop the process nurses should be uh, should assess the bed sore every morning and evening and it should be recorded all high risk patients should be put on the air bed water bed nurses should be uh, should change the patient's position every uh, two hourly every second hourly or two hourly to avoid the friction the patient's bed bed should be uh, dry and free from the wrinkles okay then next is the outcome all nurses in the icu uh, ccu learn the steps of the back masses okay back masses all nurses in ccu are able to assist the clients for pressure sore all patients are free from the pressure sore okay these are the outcomes then uh, everywhere quality assurance uh, committee in the nursing profession quality assurance committee comprises of supervisor head nurses clinical specialist nurse clinicians licensed practical nurses nursing assistants medical records administrator medical records administrator these are all available in the committee uh, quality assurance committee in the nursing then factors are affecting the quality assurance in the nursing care lack of resources personal problems improper maintenance on reasonable patients and attendance and the absence of the well informed population okay lack of resources because anywhere any hospital you know that the big big government hospital also they are required 300 staff but uh, uh, 500 staff but only 200 staff so they are maintain their work any cgc psc small hospital also they require uh, 20 20 30 staff but they only 10 staff are maintain so it is one of the problem factors affecting quality assurance in the nursing care okay lack of resources personal um, personal problem some of the personal problem also they are included in the health care setup what they don't they uh, not properly not uh, properly done their work okay some of the problem, personal problem also including and improper maintenance okay improper maintenance and unreasonable patients and attendants okay on reasonable patients and attendants absence of the well informed population okay 
these are lack of uh, incident review procedures lack of uh, incident incident review procedure then uh, next is lack of nursing care record and miscellaneous factors lack of incident review procedure means uh, uh, what is the incident that is not reviewed by the procedure okay by the recording not uh, properly done and a lack of nursing care record and a miscellaneous factors some of the other factors also affecting in the healthcare professionals then role of the nurse in the quality assurance okay what are the role of the nurse in the quality assurance you know that nurses are the are the active participant in the interdisciplinary quality improvement team develop the mechanism for the continually monitoring the effectiveness of the nursing care both uh, both a uh, collaborative and an individual professional activity contribute you know innovations uh, innovations and improvement of the patient care and participating in the improvement project and a patient safety initiatives okay these are all participating always nurses participating in the improvement of the projects and a patient safety initiatives how patient is safely um, in the hospital and a different uh, trans transform of the patient uh, one word to another word one um, clinic one um, icu to then uh, they come to intermediate ward okay at that time also some of the safety measures they initiate then participate uh, continue uh, continuing educational programs and uh, in service educational programs for continuing professional development if the professional uh, conducting different types of seminar conference workshop they attended uh, new knowledge new skills they develop then only participate the continuing educational program their uh, their mind their uh, work uh, initiation also very good then periodic and continue continuing appraisal appraisal means uh, how she or he work in the work field oh, good very good excellent any um, appreciation and evaluation of the healthcare situation of the patient then participate uh, research works okay any type of research work also they participate related to quality assurance identify any area of the needed improvement in the delivery of the care identify any area needed to improvement in the delivery of the care okay these are all regarding the quality assurance in the critical care unit it is needed to the patient so uh, you are uh, course also included quality assurance ethical uh, legal issues in the uh, icu patients okay thank you students uh, the next um, 